Roosevelt Field is a shopping mall in Garden City, New York that opened in 1956. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The land on which Long Island's first shopping mall was built once served as Roosevelt Field Airstrip. The airstrip had been named in honor of Lieutenant Quinton Roosevelt, Teddy's son, who had been killed in World War I. The facility was the departure point for Charles Lindbergh's historic transatlantic flight in 1927. A military airbase also operated there, which was later decommissioned in June of 1951. A section of the property was used for the Roosevelt Raceway, an auto racing track that was converted to a harness racing in September of 1940. The remainder of the airfield property would be devoted to a new Roosevelt Center. This facility would be developed on 125 acres, located 24 and a half miles east of Times Square. Ground was broken on April 26, 1955. As originally constructed, the open-air complex encompassed approximately 902,000 leasable square feet. It was comprised of a main, mall level, and a service basement, which included a small concourse level of shops and services. Roosevelt Field Center was officially dedicated on August 29, 1956. Charter stores included Walgreen Drugs, Buster Brown Shoes, Howard Close, Singer Sewing Center, Wallach Menswear, Tom McCann Shoes, Ripley's, Buckner's, Bridal and Horn, and Hard Art Restaurant. There were also two Five and Dimes, F.W. Woolworths, and S.S. Kresge. There was even an outdoor ice skating rink, which was completed in 1958. Roosevelt Field Center was not successful at the start. Originally, the mall housed two supermarkets, Food Fair and Grand Union. In 1958, Food Fair closed for good, and Grand Union moved into the former Food Fair building. The sole anchor store to open at the mall was a four-level, 320,000-square-foot Macy's in 1956. On August 20, 1962, a three-level, 240,000-square-foot gimbals opened. By 1963, the retail hub spanned approximately 1.2 million square feet and contained 113 stores and services. New York City-based corporate property investors acquired Roosevelt Field Center in 1966. They embarked on a renovation to enclose the mall in April of 1967, which was completed in June of 1968. The shopping hub was renamed the Roosevelt Field Mall. The complex was further expanded in the early 1970s on October 15th 1971. Alexander's three-level, 314,000 square foot location opened for business. On July 19, 1972, J.C. Penney opened a three-level, 260,000 square foot store. La Petite Mall a Tudor-style expansion was built in 1974 that architecturally reinforced the novelty of shopping indoors. In August of 1986, Gimbel's closed and was followed by New Jersey-based Stearns, 
which opened in February of 1987. Another enlargement of the Roosevelt Field Mall was done in stages between 1991 and 1997. On April 23, 1993, a partial upper level was dedicated, which had been built on top of the northern half of the mall. This section included a 14-bay Zeppelin motif food court. Among 60 new stores and services were J. Crew, Banana Public, and Mondo Minswear. In February of 1991, Alexander's closed. The store was gutted and remodeled. New York City-based Abraham & Strauss held its grand opening on October 17, 1992. But this store was only in operation until April 30, 1995, when that one closed. New York City-based Bloomingdale's assumed the store space on November 2, 1995. The second half of the $150 million mall remodeling was completed in two stages. The upper level was extended over the mall's southern section. Two parking structures were also built, one replacing an existing garage on the mall's southeast corner. The upstairs extension was officially dedicated on October 1996, with 50 stores added to the mall's directory, including FAO Schwartz, Armani Exchange, BCBG, Kenneth Cole Pottery Barn, and Models Sporting Goods. A fifth anchor department store was built as the final facet of the 1990s makeover. A three-level, 225,000 square foot Nordstrom was added to the southeast corner of the complex, which opened on August 15, 1997. With its completion, the facility spanned approximately 2.2 million square feet. It was promoted as the nation's fifth largest shopping mall. In August of 2001, Stearns closed. After the closure, the structure was divided three ways. Indianapolis-based Galleons Trading Company renovated a two-level space and opened for business on October 17, 2003. It would later become a Dick's Sporting Goods. Bloomingdale's Furniture Gallery opened in 2004, which occupied the western half until closing in 2019. Simon Property Group took ownership of the mall when it acquired corporate property investors in 1998. In September of 2013, a comprehensive interior-exterior makeover got underway. In addition to giving the existing structures a thorough update, the $200 million project included construction of a fourth parking garage, dining district, which replaced the early 1990s vintage food court, and a new southwest wing. This would include a two-level, 105,000 square foot Neiman Marcus and approximately 25,800 square feet of inline store space. With all the work completed, the shopping hub encompassed approximately 2.3 million leasable square feet and housed 283 stores and services under its roof. Over the years, the mall has experienced its share of crime, including a couple of shootings as well as fights that resulted in people running for their lives when it spilled into the mall. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was four, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.